Well, we're um, talking a mad woman, aren't we? Oh, a wonderful mad woman. Um, I think it was producer-director Hal Prince who said that his definition of a hit was the right play at the right time in the right theater. And right now, the Cripple Creek Theater Company's extremely enjoyable staging of Jean Giraudoux's social satire, The Mad Woman of Chaillot, currently uh, fulfills all those requirements. It's at the Always Lounge, formerly Cowpokes in the Marigny Theater on the corner of St. Claude and uh, Marigny. Uh, Giraudoux's play is a charming, simplistic, and yet remarkably relevant pa parable about the rape of the environment and our collective responsibility to halt it. The premise is that a respectable group of greedy, opportunistic businessmen profiteers want nothing less than to tear down the entire city of Paris to drill for oil. The international substratum of Paris, Inc. will not let, quote, History, architecture, or human sentiment get in its way as it plunders the city of lights. Sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> this contemptible consortium plots its dirty work at a cafe in Chaillot across the Seine from the Eiffel Tower, where the petroleum content of the water is said to be high. What they do not count on are the poor people of Paris, <laughs> the raffish neighborhood vagabonds, artists, workers, lovers, waifs, dreamers, and especially eccentrics. Chief among these is Countess Aurelia, the mad woman, who cannot fathom that avarice is reason enough to destroy natural beauty and a way of life. She does have a solution, however. All we have to do is to get rid of them, she says. And so she does with a graceful, merciless whim of iron. In the play's most famous line, Aurelia announces, there is nothing so wrong in the world that a reasonable woman cannot correct it in the course of a day. Um, I believed her, and I think you will too when you see the play. The Cripple Creek Theater specializes in producing classic plays that still speak to us with sharply pointed pertinence. Um, this is their best and most germane work to date since they did Gogol's The Inspector General mm. and got our first Inspector General, uh, Robert Sarasoli, to come to the theater <laughs> oh, yes. and appear at the end of the play and then talk with the audience about what he was doing in New Orleans. So BP is going to come to this. Uh... Let, it would be tremendous if they got the, I can't speak for their safety, though. Um, <laughs> Mad Woman is a fantasy, but it has the truths of corruption and exploitation at its core. Mm -hmm. It is cathartic to think that we could dispatch the despoilers of our waters and wetlands to the bowels of hell, as the Mad Woman does. But this witty and whimsical play has an agitprop message beneath the charm and the, and the witty veneer, which is a clear call to action. Director Emily Whalen fulfills the playwright's uh, intent in many ways, such as freeing the play from the stage, color coordinating the the um, uh, the actors, the um, the villains are in uh, black and white uh, costumes and makeups, uh, while primary colors are confined to the hoi polloi, who are the heroes. Raddy Skurvix, that's his name, Raddy Skurvix, <laughs> supplies atmospheric music on piano, cello, and concertina, which my father would have loved. He had an antique Italian concertina, <laughs> which he played all the time. Everything we see and hear is of a piece, from the jagged set pieces to the uh, performance happening partly in the, in the audience and the actors arising out of the audience. Behind her fluty giggling and ruined uh, finery, Jennifer Pagan is a mad woman of style and substance. Andrea Carlin and Andrew Ferrier are the most beautiful and poetic of lovers imaginable. Ross Britz is the eloquent rag picker, Liam Krauss the dumb lug sergeant and sexy sewerman, Aja Becker and Tyrus Narcisse the enchanting children. Of the villains, Samantha Bollier makes a bold bitch of a president, <laughs> Donald Lewis is a foppish baron, and Andrew Vaught arises from the audience. He looks so scuzzy, it's like Joachim Phoenix playing the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone involved in this production, on stage, backstage, has contributed something very special here. True, there is a mime. Uh -huh. But uh, Jessica Lozano manages to make her appealing, if you can believe such a thing. <laughs> but then the play asks us to do something even harder. 
to believe that right can best might. All right. Thank you so much. Ooh, looking forward to that.